rain chances start to creep into the forecast. I'll have the latest. Your 25 news starts right now. Connecting the Brazos Valley. This is KRHD News. Thanks for joining us this evening. I'm Hallie Jones. Texas A&M Board of Regents say they have the biggest athletics project in years. Plans to improve the Bright Complex will give Aggie athletes the means to dominate their sports and their grades. Tonight, KRHD News reporter Rebecca Fiedler finds out more on how this will give students an edge over the competition. Texas A&M's Board of Regents met last Thursday and approved several budget items for the university system's capital plan. Approximately $205 million will be used towards football and track and field facilities. At least $125 million would be used towards the Bright Football Complex, creating new indoor practice facilities, renovating spaces, and creating updated academic and health resource centers for athletes. Another $55 million will be used for the creation of a new indoor track facility. In a press release issued Thursday, a and Chancellor John Sharp is quoted saying, this project will reestablish Texas A&M as a leading host site for the highest levels of competition, but perhaps even more important than boosting Texas A&M's exposure on the national scene, this project will provide our student athletes with the tools they need to achieve their goals in the workplace after college. Track athlete Patrick Johnson II says Texas A&M's investments in track and field competitors, such as ventures like this, is what drew him to the university above all other schools. The support you have for the student athlete here is pretty much second to none because everything you basically want, adding and building upon that for, I guess, the future for indoor track, which is going to be brand new and probably one of the best in the country, if not the best in the country, which is basically up the game. Johnson says that for all sports, including track, having a good facility for training and competing is important for success. I really think the exposure that you get from having a track facility like that would basically, like, you, know, you can host championship meets, you can host conference meets, you can have a lot of spectators come to the event and uh, know about the facilities you have to take the name the Regents Agenda Briefing notes that a portion of this project, namely $25 million, will be used for the creation of 31 new suites at Kyle Field. The agenda does not list a specific start date for construction. The agenda mentions that the university will be starting a fundraising effort for the project as they plan to pay for just over half of the project using gifts. The agenda also lists a payoff schedule of 30 years. Reporting in Brazos County, Rebecca Fiedler, KRHD News. We're continuing to follow that deadly car attack.